I was just watching a video of a uh, friend of mine who's also in Live Good uh, talking about he lives 45 miles away from Asheville and survived that storm. And uh, man, it's such a crazy world, isn't it? I mean, I'm so thankful for Live Good, but if you hear my story, our story, we were camping up and we were towards Boone, in between Boone and Asheville. And we were in a small little campground for two nights. We went one night, we actually went to Boone and walked along that area that was just flooded by the uh, college and just devastated where Boone is. And then we came back, we decided we stay in the campground one more night and then we're gonna head to Asheville or Black Mountain. And that morning we talked to the guy that ran the campground, nice guy, nobody knew anything was going on yet. Just knew it was gonna rain. So we took the black, the Blue Ridge Skyway and we, on the way home and we drove about five miles, we couldn't see anymore because the clouds were so thick and so low. You couldn't see the road. So we came back and did the lower elevation. And once we got on the lower elevation, we just made a decision, you know, that's gonna be a lot of rain, we're heading home. And we followed our gut, followed our intuition. And uh, thank goodness. You know about, if you follow this, we take I-40 and uh, they, they shut the road down from mile marker 440 to Asheville, well, we drive that way. And we go through Newport and uh, on that way home, we got into a rainstorm, it was just unbelievable amount of rain. And got up to Newport, got some gas, and then made it home. And then just woke up the next day and started watching news like everybody else, unbelievable storm. So there, there's times that I guess what I'm talking about today after watching my friend's video and he talked about what he went through because we really didn't go through anything. We just made a decision to come home. But we could have, We I just talked to our daughter, she's a chiropractor, so we went and get adjusted today. I just talked to her. And then, uh, you know, she didn't even know we were up there. So, you know, how the world works is that um, our kids would have had no clue where we were. So pretty bizarre. So anyway, it's, I don't wanna be, I just feel for so many people up there, there were people that in our campground, there were two couples that would come up to this campground every every year and spend a week. So they were gonna, you know, we left on Wednesday morning, they were gonna be there through Friday, but they were from Henderson, that town got destroyed. So you just wonder where those, you know, what are those people gonna do? You know, there were elderly, I'm not, don't consider myself elderly, but. You just wonder, you know, what happened? Is their home uh, there or is it gone? Or, you know, how are things surviving up there? So anyway, keep those people in your minds, please, because th that was pretty crazy. Now I want to talk about intuition or gut feelings because if you heard my story, I, I was on vacation. So, you know, we camp in this van. Uh, we were camping at Edisto Island and we got a email from a friend of mine, an acquaintance that I've done business before, and I'm really, I was done with business. I thought, no, I'm retired. I'm not gonna do anything else. And he says, hey, Mark, how would you like to make an extra 2K a month? And you know, uh, I'm, I'm a teacher, so I have my teacher pension. My wife has a little bit, so we're okay. We're living off Social Security and on my pension, and you know, we still live kind of paycheck to paycheck. And I thought, wow, an extra 2K, to tell you the truth, an extra 500 would change our life really would, would get us doing things that we hadn't done for a while. So I took a look at the video and uh, the tour, and, and you're gonna take a look at that too. And I watched it and, you know, I, I really didn't know, but it kept talking about, you know, being able to make money without enrolling anybody, without purchasing anything. And I've been in MLMs before where you had this auto ship that was so expensive and the products were so expensive, you couldn't make any money. And this was a membership and I understood that. And the more I investigated, it talked about them getting more products than what I've seen, that I didn't have to buy anything, that I could just be here. Now the products were products my wife and I used. And we were gonna be able to save about a hundred bucks a month just on the products we used, even after paying our 995 membership. And I know not everybody uses those same amount of products, but that's what we did. So I waited the week and wish I hadn't. I wish I would have got started earlier. It would have been more 
financially beneficial for us, but I waited the week, got home, paid my $49.95. And then what we talk about is get in, plug in, and stay in. So that was my theory. That's what I was going to do. And they said, get to and teach people how to get to. Well, I got two. I got six right away. And that doesn't happen to everybody. I totally understand that. I was working with some people. I sent them an email, and this is what I was going to do, and I built up some trust with them. So I joined. And, you know, it's funny to watch because those people that joined, they're making money right now without doing a thing. And I'm not, that's not a negative. That's what they're choosing to do. But because I'm a spillover creator, they're making enough money every month to pay for their membership plus some. So they're in profit without doing a thing. Now, how cool is that? So here's the intuition. One, go watch that video. It's marksfreetour.com. Watch the video, make a decision, but it's a membership that's going to be around forever and ever. And now's the time for you to join. So go watch the video, reserve a spot, and then let's start working together. Y'all take care. Bye. Follow your intuition. Bye.